Okay, so if you can see the burn pin there, this is the um, tripath amp I uh, had put in the the Marantz, and I hate to do another video on it, guys, but uh, anyway, um, I accidentally had my wires crossed one night and was plugging it in, because right now I don't, I've got some wall warts, but they got, I just don't sound as good as a battery right now, there's not as clear, so uh, I'm just using it out here to plug the 12 volt supply into the amp. And I'm using a little 12 volt battery that I have right now. So what I did was I hooked it up in reverse accidentally the other night. And you can see it smoked that pin there on the chip. This thing is toast. It's toast. Luckily, I had a couple more coming in the mail and here's the little cheese job I did of hooking them up. Uh, a couple of crappy L brackets. This is just quick just to see how it was working. So all I had to do was just hook the wiring up there and the speaker outs. I did solder them in. Need some heavy wire <laughs> like I needed to, whatever. But And then the input, you just tie the grounds together and then you're left and right, but I, or the uh, negatives together, uh, grounds together. Anyway, so I uh, that plug just fit. A couple of crappy grounds. I did this one night in like 20 minutes. Um, I know it's cheese, but I'm going to make some brackets for it. So anyway, here it is back together. Do not hook your polarity up wrong when you're powering these things guys because you will end up frying it and you I uh, don't unless you're a um, a mouse you know <laughs> or a uh, paramecium well something really small you're not gonna fix that you can see the chip there's it burned the lead I guess um, hooking it in backwards so don't do that I accidentally hooked it up backwards and yes it smelled and it did nothing it didn't burn anything else out but it fried there that uh, connector there on the pin I guess one two three four five six number seven pin that goes to the uh, capacitor there where does that go Let's see if it comes in here 12 and goes through that cap oh, wait through those little caps did it fry that one there too i hate service mount caps i can't or the service mount i can't see them anyway so you <clears throat> hooked it up in reverse so i guess the ground would have been there which goes around here oh yeah right into the chip there as you can see so yeah dumbass Damn, son, fried it. Anyway, I got me some caps here, and we'll see what they do. We'll try to pop these one of these days. We'll do some more pop videos. 400-volt DC. Hmm, pretty good. Plus or minus 3%. That seemed pretty good. So there's your tripath. This is this little board, man. You, you, you can hear I, I did a sound. I, I hear it, a video. I can't even talk. A video on how, you know, the sounds or whatever. I had this one in there. Um... And I got two more in the mail that I had ordered. So we're going to try and figure out a way to bridge them with some diodes, I think is what I'm going to try. And uh, get to where I can run um, one bridge per channel. And I'm not going to worry about this because this is not a four channel amp. Uh, the only reason why there are different wires for this is um, just for the different on off switches. Even though coming into there, it still has four different ones. I don't know if there's some way you could make it a quad, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I really don't. Uh, i got to find a quad amp. So I'm going to disconnect the caps here. Don't need that running for any reason. I don't believe it ties to anything else. But I did a little kind of shoddy work here really quick. Stupid L brackets because the power amp module is missing. So there you go. We're going to uh, plug this back in. You know what it sounds like. Uh, there's a video um anyway so thanks for watching what a waste of a nice transformer this thing is 220 watts consumption that's probably more like 20 now at 30 watts per channel out may i really if anybody knows where i can find a power module for this thing even if it works or not i want one i'm going to put the real deal in here and use these for Hmm, something else we'll see thanks for watching guys appreciate you uh subscribing and checking stuff out and i'll definitely subscribe back and check your stuff out y'all take care bye